Oh, you need to pass it down. Oh, okay. it's yeah. so cool. Everybody yeah. needs one. I don't know why you waste the paper. Well, because I knew if I didn't, you would say, where is it? Where I got it on my email. I know. Okay, we have minutes. Um, this is a thank you note from the Brister family. We sent a plan to for Marty's funeral. And then I have the letter to KDOT. Yeah. Um, I would like to get that. Steve helped me write it. Yeah, we had it and stuff through it. So. There's only the one part I didn't like. About. Nita, did, did you share the, the, the last victim of that accident? I put that in there. Okay. Yeah. Now, with KDOT, with KDOT, they. They won't, uh, anything beyond 30 days in their statistics, they don't count. So well, it won't show, but the that that's. In there. Yeah. That's what. The latest uh, victim from Hayes, what, a month or two ago, she passed away oh, last week. So the coroner, Jeff said the coroner would, was putting on her death certificate from the wreck because she never would have been killed. That's why we. No, that's not the one I was. We've tweaked it several times. So. Yeah, pretty good. No, just yeah, read it. This, this, this is different than what I have. Uh, than the one I But if you have. want something changed, I can still change it. No. Just, we just need to get that sentence. So no, the, the one I didn't like and the one that, I, that you emailed to us was the, we're not professionals or what professionals feel or so we're not telling the professionals what to do or something like that. Yeah. Um, and you've got your KAC agenda. Mm -hmm. I have copies of the information that Joe sent to Union Township. Oh, he thought okay. maybe you guys would like to look through yes. it. Yes. Or we just want copies, so you'll have to share. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, here I have some. Um, I mailed that for him yesterday, so they should get it today, tomorrow, whatever. So, so we probably need. A motion minutes. to send the letter to the Department of Transportation. Mm -hmm. I move that we send that letter to KDOT and Steve, did you read that? I mean, are the, you okay with the letter to yes. KDOT? Okay. And I would like okay. for so Jeff and Steve to sign it too if they want to. Well, right, I've got that in one. Mm -hmm. okay. It's been moved second we send the letter to KDOT in regards to 281 Highway 50. Intersection, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carried. I move we approve the minutes from the September 11th meeting. I second that. And then move and second we approve the minutes from last meeting. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carried. I gave him the phone number. I, I don't know. Let me call him and just send him that letter. Okay. And yeah, I'm not sure I didn't ask. He did. Phone number two. When I gave it to him, he already had it. So that one's to Norman, this one's to Brad. Well, no. Oh, they're both. They're both. oh, I see. One's my copy and one's your copy, oh. but I didn't make each one of you a copy, so. Brad did hear back from the uh, oil lease company. He said they were pretty friendly, and he thought he, he thought something might work out between the township and them. Yeah. Okay. So who's up first? Bill. Or Steve. I do you, are you, do you mind call? if I go first? Because I got a doctor's appointment. Would that be okay? I'll be fast. I'll be fast. I'll be fast. <laughs> <laughs> I got all done in the world. Actually, 
the, the first thing was just the, the fire. I, I sent you guys a few weeks ago or yes. weeks ago. Yeah, the, the different fire things. Just so you can take a look at that and see if there's anything that you think would make me good tweak or something else in that regard. We, we have a, I don't know if I included this, just a boilerplate letter that we send out to them. And then we created like a check sheet reference, you know, that the guys go out on. And then one other thing that I didn't share with you is that even when the adjoining counties, when we had the road dry spell, we, we never issued a, a burn ban because I, you know, I understand, uh, I don't know much about the farming operation, but I do understand the topic to them, how critical it is for them to burn. And so what we did, uh, uh, when everybody else was banned and burning, we instituted a, uh, a mandatory on-site visit. And so Gavin ended up doing, I think we did 40 or 50 of the things in a short period of time, and, and then that way we, we kind of took the risk liability of looking like we was uh, maybe uh, not following suit like everybody else and, and instituting a burn ban and then something. So what we did is we just did an on-site visit for a while till <coughs> everybody lifted their burn bans and then, then we went back to just let the folks do their own. I'd like to bring into this more because that's one thing I haven't had time to do. But okay. If we can put it off a little no, that's that's fine, and it's 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 certainly uh, you know, whichever way you want to get to go. I mean, we're, we're actually, I I think folks are, are doing a lot better in regards to their preparations. And, um, this I think I think when I sent this out, it's, you know, initially we, we we needed to send it out to everybody, and they were doing tax statements, so we did it as an insert, so we didn't have to incur the cost of posting because there was like a jail, you know. I, I didn't see too much change in it actually. Now, in this issue about the burn ban, it seemed like you know, years ago we'd come in, the chief would come in and say, well, we need to put on the burn ban. So once it got published and then next week it rained, oh, we need to take it off. And then two or three weeks later, oh, we got to put the burn ban back on. I, you know, and, and they do that, and then you see some of the others, they, uh, and even, um, I can't remember. Oh, that's not a fine, you know. And I said, well, you know, the rest of them would put like five thousand dollar fine. They don't ever do that. No. It's just, uh, and so it's really, uh, if you're going to put something down, be willing to do it. So I, I put it very minimal in the beginning. Yeah. And we don't, and and most of the time we don't institute fine. We just institute the charge for the response, which is it's probably borderline to really covering our costs. The only thing I could see in the, is the practicality of having the fire out in the dark. I mean, and we don't stick to that completely. And, uh, that's pretty tough to do Not, if you're actually, if you have any size fire at all. Yeah. yeah. Some cool. of that is is, uh, is almost verbatim off of the state's requirements. And so we, we, we kind of shadow that, but. Well, we understand the fire. Right? It's a nice but, yeah. area, but if you got any wood in it, it's not going to be out. A lot of right? times, uh, you know, like when you're in the fall, the only time the wind up blows at night. <laughs> <laughs> you know, especially like burning cornfields or wheat or whatever. We're really flexible in that. Mostly, we, we just don't want to start it right right before it turns dark. Because then, then you're pretty much. Sitting over the plant hills a lot of times that way until the evening. Like, Stands yeah. up and the wind dry, dies down, and because I remember looking out and seeing the fire and, and reading it, though, that was the one thing that I, I, I didn't see too much no. else to change in there. And then, and then even some some of the things like that, we might want to talk to like Joe and say, you know, this is what the, <coughs> this is what the state does. And we don't really think it's all that common sense, but we don't want to conflict with so much with it that we set ourselves up for some lawsuit because we didn't abide at least closely by what they were saying. Have you given a copy of that to Joe? Um, I can't remember back when we initially did it, but we do need to get one, just to make sure. Okay. The Bigfoot is back, we haven't got a bill for it, but we're driving it every day to make sure that you know we don't have any other problems. And so in the future, that's what we're going to do before we ever paint one. And fix it <laughs> we're going to drive it every day. <coughs> if it has problems, we'll send it back to Army Green. Uh, the engine uh, is forced back too, and it's over in uh, uh, over in Stafford right now. 
so we need to give some thought just to kind of how we're going to transfer that over to um, if, we, if we want to maintain ownership for for a period of time, whether we want to just transfer it over now. The the corridor agreement has been signed by um, Rob is going to be reporting. Uh, it's been signed by all three cities. And what I was wondering, and this is up to you guys, but I, I think it's a pretty big thing as far as showing the rest of the state a cooperative agreement between city and county is very uncommon. And uh, what I'd like to do is see if the mayors would come, uh, Rob would get him for sure, uh, but the mayors from Stafford and uh, St. John, if they would maybe come to uh, an upcoming uh, county commission meeting and, and maybe do a, a formal signing, a formal signing and then a, what? Why wouldn't we do something like what, like what the forestry department's doing with your big trucks? Why wouldn't we give it to them and we still maintain ownership? What do you, um, well, well, they don't really. Uh, I see what you're saying. No, we can do that. We can do that. The, the, the only mean, drawback that, of that one would be that uh, who maintains the. Uh, Respond well, that'd be kind of like well, no, the I, same, I like same issue as what you're what, right. what we're doing with exactly. the trips. So I, like that. I mean, we still oh, maintain that. ownership, but it basically they <coughs> service it, they got to take care of it and take care of it. No, that's a good idea. And I, but you know, if this agreement they don't the work, stuff, then, we have our truck. then we have our truck back yeah. in, in the condition we gave it to them. And, and that's that's kind of why I'm, I'm a little hesitant on saying that you know, we ought to just sign it over. I, I don't think we're ever we're going to have any problems whatsoever, but if we did. We need a phone for back. Yeah. We need a phone for back. <laughs> yeah. So, so I mean, uh, that's one thing I thought about that after the one meeting was. I like it. You know, if this does go through, if we could make an agreement like we do have with the forestry service with the main trucks, I mean, that, would, that way we're still not out of truck if, right. if, if for whatever reason, this don't work. Mm -hmm. yeah. Still. Another question that we have uh, that was even posted this morning for the moment is we have. Stuff on the truck, you know, selling that stuff outright, we you know, yeah. stuff, but, but but it has value. But that it's it's pretty much. I, I think when we write that agreement that, that you just mentioned, that includes the stuff. <laughs> the stuff is is still kind of. <coughs> if if kind something of? would happen that that we would dissolve that agreement, we, we get our truck with the stuff. Which it, I mean, that isn't going to be a problem, but it, but it ought to be written that way. But that, that stuff that you're saying isn't is it, is it costly to maintain? Is it something that wears out or has to be replaced over time? Or I mean, I don't want to add a big expense to them if, if it just you know. No, it's stuff they need to, okay. for it to be okay. classified sure. as a structural right. firefighting truck. Okay. Uh, the only there's really nothing that has it, almost everything on there has a long shelf coming along. Hose would be the only thing, but even hose, even hose has a uh, hose has a pretty dang long line of life. So we're not looking at anything that has a very short life, and, okay. and hardly anything that has maintenance. We we, we start with that. <laughs> we're, we're we're not going to make any formal. Okay. So we uh, we'll have all of these. Do you want me to try to get them to maybe uh, see if they can come to the next meeting? I think it'd be a good idea. Okay. I mean, just so the public on that. Yeah. Okay. What, 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 what have uh, you, Mayor, <coughs> and, uh, and the mayors of uh, Stafford, and see if all three mayors could come to the next uh, or an upcoming commission meeting where we do a formal, a kind of a formal signing, and, uh, uh, and, and, and then see if Terry can do a story on it, or somebody can do a story on it. We can write our own if we need to. All the cities have. Approved it then, or yes, yes, we've got approval for all now. Okay. One thing that's brought up just right prior to you coming in, Rob, was um, like the burning after dark. And I said that we're kind of mirroring the state's language. And if we venture, we don't keep, we don't really stick to that headstrong. I mean, if it goes on into the darkness, we understand that we, we primarily just don't want to start it afterwards. But I even understand that even sometimes that makes sense. And if we can venture off uh, in special, especially in what we maybe do on them is, is throw that in the category of site visit again. That if it's an open field that it just doesn't, I mean, it's, there's, 
is part of the risk, then and it makes better sense with the winds down and uh, after dark. But, but I would like to throw it past Joe since we're kind of uh, steering in opposite direction from what's the biggest problem with burning at night or the reports of them from everybody passing by. Yeah. We have to check them out. So. And, and just a little bit greater uh, greater danger to the firefighters if we would need to come out five minutes. But if we site visit it, we're, we're going to understand that that's not going to be the case. I would say, I mean, just general farming practices, you know, like burning stubble mainly, not pastures, obviously, but, but I mean, if it's a quarter or half section of stubble, I don't, I mean, a lot of times you, that's about the only time to burn. Is, right, you can have day after day. day when, when. There's a difference in stubble than there is grass. Right. Or <laughs> so general farming, trees, farming yeah. practices. Yeah. If you're burning a wood pile, yeah, like after the tornado, it's not going to be out in the dark. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tom drove out to my place, and oh, I'm sitting right there by the fire window. I mean, you can see it forever. But. So, what is, uh, actually, they're going to read through a little bit more and study the documents that we have relative to that. We got a book full of them. And, um, and, and then we'll visit some more. But I'll see if if, um, if the other two mayors can make it. To the and the only thing I, I like I said, I want to jump in here in front of the other gentleman is uh, um, I got a growing hernia from nothing in the obese oh. patient. So I've got to go see the doctor in practice to see what they need to do about it. In the resolution, or are you going to wait on that? We're going to wait on that until we get all the okay. red. Okay. Okay. All right, all right. thanks. Thank you. Did you have anything, Rob? No, uh, no. Just, I was just bringing that this. resolution to Steve. Unless we didn't have a sign in that regard. I just wanted to hear this morning. Very good. Thanks, Steve. Here's a copy of the allocation sheet. All right. I think you're up. Oh, good. I need one of these filled out. There's the stuff that I've got so far. Yeah. This is what the department's bringing me. It is one of these. That has several sections. Well, I, I, I went ahead and receded it. But I just seen it. They already know. The Department of Transportation has this patient Well, they come with this. That's it's a real okay. patient little okay. group. Yeah. All right. She, you know, I, and I, I emailed her. And I emailed her. And I And they're all gone this week. I would have some more paper. You know, trying to take on to do so. It's one of you that are Yeah, but my girls don't know, so I need this for now. And the last sheet there will show 52 projects that are filled this year. We appreciate that. So they do real well. We have this stuff. That's fine. That's up to you. But this is what all the partners do. And the parentheses in the FA is a one time only thing for this year. That was. The FA funds the bigger of course on crack great band pensions. And they had promised them some money this year. Well in the middle of the year they said you're only gonna get half of it. You're gonna have to put up twice as much pension funds as you put up when you agreed to start with. So that's where the state stepped in and talked with their cost share. Normally they wouldn't do that. But they put quite a bit in the great band because they already had the ramp tore up and the feds said, Well, we're not gonna give you as much money as we thought. States and they they do a lot of good for small airports. And last in 2010, I went to the mayor of Stafford and asked him if we wouldn't buy a grant at Stafford to see what to do with that airport. And we were given $38,000. Uh, so it was a $40,000 grant. The city put up 5%, to 95 by. So they put up $2,000 in the state. Paid this thirty-eight thousand, and this is what they paid them. <coughs> this is the feasibility study. Of course, they came to the conclusion that this current airport is not suitable to expand without relocating U.S. Old Fifty, and they looked at a new site, which Stafford last year in November decided that was the site they wanted South of Stafford, but they have done nothing on it this last year. In the funding situation in the city of Stafford, it does look like they're going to move ahead. <clears throat> what I'm asking is if the county would 
fill out the application. I think it's the second or third page in there. There's a sample application. It's a one page, uh, it's a page of instruction, but it's basically a one page application. It's just the sponsor, and uh, of course, this will be funded next year in July, but in January, they send out a letter saying you can proceed with the project. I apologize that I don't have the dollar figure, but my estimate is a $40,000 project with this county paying 5%. I would know today, later on, when he gets a hold of me, to get back to that comment. <coughs> is there any way for Phil to, to piggyback with the city of Stafford on what they, these two studies they've already done? Well, that would be a good I mean, I, I've talked to one council member over there, and, and I think he's in agreement with, with that if we could work. I mean, because they've already got the money spent. <coughs> and, you know, I, I don't, I guess I don't know what the next step to be to communicate to the city council over there if they would be willing to work with us or together, <coughs> you know, to try to, you know, because if, if the state wants this, these air every county to have an airport for their ambulance service and stuff. I, you know, if, we, if we're already two steps forward, I know we'll start back at square one. And uh, that was just something I was going to throw out to see if if that's something we couldn't work together with them on. No, it would probably be worth talking to. Okay. I do know in the site selection process in November that. Site number three or four there, West of Jim's Heights is on the curb. That came up at the comments where it was too close to St. John. Yeah. That might be a... That might be an issue. But the favorite site is South of Stafford Mile on the blacktop. And it's irrigated ground. And that could be a pretty high dollar item mm -hmm. if you could get it. I like number eight. You guys heard about this book? Yeah. No, it's not too difficult. Uh, oh, I think it's in the back here. That book has this one in it. There's an airport now. Yeah. It'd just be on the right at Titan's Corner for the curb. Some of that was in CRP. Yeah. Yeah. I know that and it's next to the blacktop. Power source there. I don't know. I, what do you think, Nita? Would it something we just have to send them a letter to, or some form of communication to the city council to see? Who, I would or, suggest one you get on the agenda and go see, talk to them face to face. I mean, the letter would be okay, but it would be better if maybe Phil would go and you guys would sit and discuss it. I do a council meeting late Monday night. Uh, it's kind of close. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, think. Uh, I don't think the letter is going to do much. Do much anyway. So, would this, Phil, would this application be in design and planning? Or would it be? Yeah, it would be. Yeah, it would be design and yeah. planning. They are the state versus the federal program, the FAA. I bring up Russell all the time because I was there 10 years. And this is the runway we built up there. There's what, a 5,000 foot. Of course, the city was looking at a 3,200 foot runway, but that's not going to be cut. Because Life Team and Great Ben would fly out at 3,300. Mm -hmm. Eagle Man was 3,500, and that's about to go on here. So they're flying to Tulsa or Denver. They would be able to use less than 5,000 foot runway. And the ground is not that much torn up. If you have these overruns, you're required to keep about 500 feet at the end, and then you lease an easement out here that no obstructions would be put in there. And the FAA and required Russell to buy this extension. Well, they paid 90% of the ground costs. So. Mm -hmm. 
states do match and see there too. They paid three hundred and sixty thousand to buy land in Lincoln. But it takes very little other than you have about a hundred you can't be within hundred and fifty foot of the center line of the building. But in the meantime they redid the ramp to which direction from Russell is that? That's on old forty. And the advantage of the feds, but I've talked to them and they don't find the center of the county because of Bradley Creek, they don't go to 25 miles. But their entitlement program, we put $5 million in the new ramp and the runway and the parking lot. And then they give you entitlement money every year, which amounts to about $180,000 to maintain their space on your grants, but the state doesn't do it. But the state will allow the county engineer or the county equipment to build this airport. Hill City built their airport with the county airport. They did the airport. The state came in and built the airport. And they have a maximum of $1,600,000 per run state money. I know it's in the process. It's a multi year. And you select your own engineers where. It's a really a good program. If you call this number to people and contact George up there, he can really be a guy out this. And it is a great job. And that's what our runway looked like up there before we put the new one in and plant the cracks in it. You know, the concrete's the way to build the asphalt doesn't get used enough on the runway. It doesn't get enough action. We put in seven inches of concrete, 75 foot wide. It has a 35,000 pound wheel weight, which is this is one of the Challenger 300s. Those are peasant hunters from high up east of the Farm Bureau. But it's airplanes like that that you can operate on. The King Air is only a three minute job, but it's it's the same airplane, same engine. Yeah. And when the weather gets tough and the ice and snow is blowing away, this guy's flying. The helicopter's in. Stafford and see if they can give us an answer or service run we definitely need an additional approach. Because this air ambulance, he's running under part 135 air taxi. He has to have the portable weather when he lands. That's the last sheet there. There's an AWOS automated weather observation station. 
that sitting out there in the weather, feeding height. Either have to have an observer or a weather station, and the state funds 90% of that too. To me, it's a win. You can't go wrong on this. It's been a great program. They operated 10 years and renewed the program. They're getting more money. They used to get around two to three million. Now they're up to five. And you can see there they help the blocks. And then there's a legal part of it there. It's you have to keep the airport open for 10 years. Or else you can pay it back. It has to be a public use. And they do fund privately owned airports down in Denton, north of the car. And he says, which car they're funding that airport? Rusty X Sun on his Riverside Airport on the west side of which they've done funding new runway for him, but it's a two year and you have to have it to open up the best part, but yeah. Which you want the public that the one spending the money buying that fuel. And with the medical thing, that is a very important part of it. I think we yeah. Clearing one service would be pretty important, I believe. I've been on the runway up there at midnight, and the little snow clouds just cleaning off the runway, and you're going to the king air on the approach. And, uh, the little king's like, I wouldn't be under there shooting trap before now, and quit shooting, just like the land. It's a 20, I think it was 20 minute flight from Dodge City to Russell. Capabilities on this airplane, uh, the 90, is they almost have emergency here right on the airplane. So, the best to get that there. Which one of you two guys wants to go? I know they play. That's his history. He's got the big shoulder stand. <laughs> It's worth the shot. I mean, that's. I mean, if you got, you said there's thirty thousand involved in this feasibility study. Well, there was forty. Forty. And the state paid ninety. Yeah. Back. But now the new program. We hired this engineer. She's the lady that'll answer the phone, and she's doing a lot of this in house. That they used to fund mm -hmm. this thirty-eight thousand out. They thought, well, we could do that. Right. And I just picked Booker Willis Traveler, which they merged with Lock. And that's how we ended up with Lockwood, but they're all about the same company. As a former director of this aviation department, went to work for an aviation consulting firm in Topeka, so he's, he's doing the same thing these people do, but they're all real competitive. And they know what the requirements are to meet the study of the beds. But there is, there is 2,000 of city money involved. They did look at eight sites there. Of course, what, they, what did this location study cost you? Know? That was part of it. Oh, that was part of the whole thing. As you see, some drawings in there where they were going to relocate old 50. Mm -hmm. And that was kind of their engineer's fate. Stay where you are because you still have the old grass runways. And it'd be close to a million dollars to relocate it. State again with about 90% of that relocation. But our population is low enough that we fall into that smaller, greater funding category of our specifics that are 75. Our population. And the insurance companies and the grass strip at Stafford, if you were flying a Bonanza or a Cessna G2, High performance airplane, they would frown on the insurance. They do get in and out of there. And we did have a doctor flying in once a month, which is a movie doctor. He's an Air, Air Force pilot. He said, This is no problem. You're flying out of here. <laughs> And so the present location is the cost is prohibitive or well they the highway is the situation. Yeah. And we would have to fire some the city owns the east eighty eight percent of that. 
fire drones for us. And then you're fired by the dive for the Northwest. And that would also fit me. And then after we built the boat, we built the boat fit me. The North Pack in the house. But it'd be a dive. Or you could go north and south and we would be high and low. But we're limited. We right now have 2,500 feet. And with the clear space at the end of the runway, you have to get quite a little bit more ground because you can't just pay right up to right. the maximum height. Right. So we've had quite several individuals go across 50. Oh, wow. I mean, I looked out there one day and I thought, God, this car is going between me and that airplane. And they touched down that way like grass. You know, buffalo grass. Mm -hmm. And it's You get the brakes. It's too late to have cars up over the highway to go. Unfortunately, no way to slow down for you. That's how you can travel down. Airplane crossing. Yeah. It's like aircrafts up here, Jimmy. No, if you're waiting to do it, somebody will get it in there. There is, There are some hangers out there, and that's something to look at, too. If you get a new gun, you have to have a new and it is there, that has to be the environmental study too, if you expect. And it doesn't have to be a duck pond off the end of it. You know, that's something that's in mm -hmm. If you cross over to you, you're supposed to be in the duck pond. <laughs> well, okay. the old airport is a duck pond. Yeah. <laughs> I can get pretty wet in there. Yeah. Well, if you notice, that's one of the jobs at 50 Highway. I've got an old letter with the Whitlock brothers when they were operating the Bacon Stafford. They built me 50, they were going to shorten the runway while they were up the governor and he got on it. That's why the job is in there. It saved that extra 100 feet. It says, Mr. Whitlock, we don't want to encroach on your airport. <laughs> the way it went south. But, that's the job. So site A or eight and west west on the curve. They didn't even list that in their description of the slides. So, <laughs> that was the one that was too close to the competition. They quit at number six. <laughs> they, they forgot about seven, eight, and nine. Clear back here in the back. Keep, keep going. Yeah, they got it in this one. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Right there, they're quits. Number six, candidate site number six, and it's oh. over. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they forgot the ones over here on the west. Closer to 31 or 50. It's rated pretty good at 12. They were getting into this irrigated circle. No. Every consider, but those people are even sellers. Yeah. And then you have a 300 foot radio tower here. I'll say the best. Out there in the sand would be the best place. Yeah. You are a little close to the cell town, maybe. We're seven. We're seven now. We're in Cutty Corner to eight. Yeah, dude. Would that uh, be south of 50 Highway? That's behind that black dog. I don't know who's one. Oh, that'd be right there by, uh, right off of. It's a Midwest. Across from. Uh, Bonner's house. Clinton Williams' yeah. house. Okay. So, have, have these landowners been approached? I don't think so. Number nine, would that be the golf course? <laughs> Two miles two, east, three, and a mile and a half south of. I think it's a golf course is right there. Right, right, but I mean nine is close to. Yeah, the golf it is. Course. You know, that's got a hill right in there too. I am not on the city or the board. board. The rest of the area is right there. Man, I'm, I, one of my number four guys, which I have, even three, 
Quite a deal. There's no steel in it. They poured 37 and a half feet at a time, and then every foot there's a steel pin glued to each half to hold it together. The whole thing floats. There's no steel in it. And you've got a saw every 10 feet saw. And there's underground drainage along the sides and drain the water keep going underneath. So they really build it. Terrible. And then you got your little U turn. But out in here, I think this is 500 feet, but you're not allowed any high growing crops. This is actually their property that you would farm. I mean, you could basically farm within 75 feet of the, of the runway, probably. I mean, can't you? You're probably looking at 50 or 60 acres there. And eventually, you'd probably put a taxi load. Just for inspectors. 
We had more stuff than the hangar for the concrete. I got a lot of those. I had to set 28 days in the block about that long. And then they put them in the machine at the end of that time. I break it. And they would build 35,000 kids on it while they got the full check. They broke the floor around it. But the runway's already full. <laughs> <laughs> And then they just go out and get a sample, and then they bore, these cars, these bore, they go down there for a couple of months and bore. Uh -huh. If you're up at the other now, Stockton Building Airport, Brooks County, but that was, that, well, they used the hospital uh -huh. and to get the feds involved. And you know, that's 28, what, 28 miles from eight. Yeah. So that very unusual that they would build that just open, but it's 5,000 feet. Mm -hmm. What other uh, counties did you say were building that well, started I, from scratch to build new ones? Yeah, let's see. There's a list of them back here somewhere. Let's see. Let's see. Lincoln up there is building a new one. Doing some of the fueling, self service fueling, they put in the, putting in credit card readers in here. But they have a maximum of $10,000 for that with the credit card. But it's a monopoly because there's only two companies there in the South Park for aviation. So the cities are pretty much. But that's what a lot of airports are going to do. So, so. And the states, they say, puts up $10,000. They'll repair the lights and the rotating beacon. The one in Greensburg is that city under county of the Greensburg. That's a city under. So the pros and cons of the existing airport, the, the pro is it, it's there already and, and there's some buildings. The disadvantage is Highway 50 and plus it's, it's a low spot. 
they were saying in that feasibility study that night that the dirt work just to repair what we got is, what do you say, over a million dollars. You see, 20 years ago we went in there and submitted that uh, yeah, table of destruction. Put a culvert on there. It's about a 12-inch culvert on the end of the room. The boats are on the They had those culverts on the 50 for years, and they weren't open. Well, they went in there and opened them up. Now they drain those two irrigated quarters of the township road and put in some culverts. In a heavy rain, we'll have seven inches of water mm -hmm. across that mountain. And there was a nice ditch cut east of the road. There's three culverts, I think, on the old 50. That was the fix what we got. Perfect what they got. And we originally thought this going in lay some asphalt down about 2,500 feet. Do that, and then you get the water problems. We need a new lighting. The lighting is very expensive on the front lights, but it's all constant current. It runs 6.6 volts. It doesn't lose any of the power at the end. There's a transformer at every light. There's a big rectifier set to the building that converts up to 6.6 volts. And we don't have any voltage negligible. The little lights are LED, which are not much, but it's the, the wiring in Why they didn't put the runway on the west side of the That's 
There's only one little place in the center. On the east, the whole runway is a great. <coughs> So on this feasibility study, are they saying that are these the ones that are highlighted, like one, three, four, and eight, are the ones that that they're recommending, or are they're just? Yeah, I don't understand. Well, it, it, each one has its advantages. I think those are the higher, higher, higher ranges. But the last, <clears throat> the city of Stafford couldn't get together until November. Decided, you know, they missed the cut on the ground. And they rushed in one night and decided to site south of town's where they wanted to go. That was just the last minute. But it was too late. They thought they missed the cut. And they're very strict on that date. That's it. So they did. Soil compaction tests and all of this. In this case, we're done. Nothing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Well, I guess the only thing we do is go talk to the Stafford City Council and Or, or help or some other we need, I guess, to see where we go. There are quite several city county airports. I'm not so that side eight is here, but more pleasing to the people of St. John. I do think if the county gets involved, I think a little more centrally located would benefit everybody. That's far well, enough. and that's what we're considering as a county, since we are. Well, I know, but I mean, that's if, what you guys have. Yeah. yeah, I mean. That, so what makes a difference whether it's two miles closer or two miles further away from one city or the other? I don't. It wouldn't be very handy for people at Maxville or St. John and yeah. three mile, two miles south of Stafford. No, no, it's not there, handy there you have the same travel distance as you do in the Pratt. And, uh, you know, that King here, there's one thing there, too. Unless it's a real critical issue, they generally unload the stretcher off the King here, put it in, take it to town, pick up the patient. Mm -hmm. and That's what they do at Kinsley. They have to stay for there's been instances where they just put them right on there and they brought the stretcher back later in the day. But most of the ones I saw. I think they had 48 flights in one year. Oh, that's all. In fact, we had three king years when they sat on the ramp right at home. As people doze off when they come up the south lane and come across Arizona, they doze off on Saturday. And there'd be a van with 12 or 15 people. Uh -huh. We had three of them. I got a good picture. We had three of them set there in the morning ready to go. I, I, I can't believe the number of, of medical flights they have out of the Kinsley Airport. I mean, that's a, it's a lot. But the right to land, you know, in the, the key here, the ambulances they're waiting on. And the mm -hmm. nurses on board go in the ambulance to the hospital, and the pilots come over and talk to everybody shooting traffic. <laughs> <laughs> and they base one of the men and men that came here. No, they did the life team. The life team does. In fact, they were doing an ambulance service on the ground. Yeah, so. A little bit. But it just benefit the whole county.
we're going one at a time. We have one at a time. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm, I'll just go there for support from the county. And I, so you'll get it. You'll get him on the agenda. Yes, I'm going. Okay. Back. I'll ask her for this. Okay. okay. I will call her. Okay. Well, I mean, because I don't give you much time, I don't give as much time with the applications to be by the end of the month. I mean, to get a plan put together by the end of the month. It gives us one meeting. I guess my question to them would be what they are going to do and if we can either work together or use their investment that they have. In the state, I would like that too, because they have this much invested in a different kind of. And I actually put in an application to build an airport last year too, so that kind of bowed up the works. Because George said, I'm not going to fund the airport in several counties, so you guys got to get them off. <laughs> and he said, those are his words. He said, I'll come out and visit with you. And like I say, these are real common individuals. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I agree. I wonder if he would even come to visit with the city council to tell them. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, the, that's, the more that's information they, they have, I, you know, or how important it is that they do. Yeah. I'll ask him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the depot is still there, but yeah. yeah. 
I ran by it quite often. Just to avoid the sinkhole on the other one. <laughs> yes, it is. It's going down. We pumped those wells for years. We are locked in the my surface pipe. We've been down about 150 foot. So we used a lot of high pressure salt water when we went down to the ground. They're measuring it every year now, at least. And someday that road's going to go, though. Where's that? From the Hunger half section, that corner. If you go towards Larry Ryan's house for oh, Phil grew right. up, that sinkhole off to the oh, okay. north, yeah. that road just keeps getting lower and lower. That was the best well out there, French in the line, when the water flooded it back when about 1,500 pounds of water pressure. So yeah. It's scary out there to have a house in there. I'm glad I wasn't farming around there driving a big truck. <laughs>
your commissioner and your responsibility. Gather, gather, gathering information, I would, I would think. Well, I don't know. She wanted, she wanted all three of us to be there, and I said, I don't think we better do that. I'm saying they weren't going to talk about being one at a time. One at a time would be better, I think. And that's the. I think that might be. No, only maybe. three of you could go if you publicly the analysis. Oh, the three of you are going to the hospital board meeting on September 18th. I think you're right. I mean. But they also fall into the open meetings on that. Right, exactly. Yeah. But yeah. we would need to either put the minutes or notify the right. papers that the three commissioners. I think they missed their last meeting, and I think they're meeting Monday night, too. Is it work like you can just go for yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's see. There's a lot going on in Stafford. There's, <laughs> yeah. And, and don't forget the antique tractor show. Wait. Yeah. Oh, do you have another one of those flyers? What is it? October the 5th. Uh, is it collection? What is the date? 5th. 5th. You need Saturday. to take one to Zoe Scott because they have old tractors. Yeah. Have you talked to him? No. And I'm going to see if my dad, I don't know if he was. He was going somewhere and he told me. The fifth? Oh, okay. Parade starts at 10. Do I have to drive him to the parade? Sure. Oh. And you have to wait and go candy. <laughs> okay. And there'd be my a, dog, there'd be a special price. Just tie it in with the leader dog. There'd be, there'd be, there's, per, <laughs> there's a special price for parade candy at the Mercury Guild. <laughs> A very special prize. A very, very special prize. But seriously, Earl, stop and talk to Zoe. Could Zoe. Stop about his ASDS. That's right. Oh. FSA, whatever you call it. <laughs> I don't know, I'm a farmer. Anyway, because they have two or three old tractors, don't they? Oh, yeah. they got way more than that. Yeah, yeah they can. Well, so they have the old they have a guy from uh, uh, Roth from Nickerson. Tired iron or whatever they're what they're of it. I talked to him and uh, the day they have been when I talked to him he's between some place, some show in North Dakota on his way to Wisconsin. Fifth of October. Okay. Are we done then? I believe so. Okay, we're adjourned.